As in any area of law, we have plaintiffs, defendants, and potential third parties in any contracts law situation. And in area, any area of law, we have elements for each legal standard. However, what's crucial to your understanding and mastery of this area is your solid fundamental grasp of the basic terms, the frequently used definitions, terms, and elements in a contract. Indeed, as you find yourself more immersed in increasingly more complex cases and eventually exam problems, it's always important to start at the beginning and ask yourself, who's doing what? What's the basic agreement? Or what are the terms? And to work from there. Also, I highly suggest getting in the very good habit of mapping out contract situations. Now, I can't take credit for this trick, as my contracts professor, Professor Sylvester, taught it to me and my fellow students in my first year contracts class. Each class, each case without fail, he would draw a diagram like this. Any contract looks like this. On the sides, place the names of the parties. By the arrows, place what each party has promised to do for the other. And without fail, this diagram should be a starting point, step one in your attempt to figure out what's going on.